Max Burchart's Arts, 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 Arts. Max Hubert Innocence Maria Burchart's 1887-1961 was a German photographer. Life. Ah. Max Burchart's was the son of a fabric manufacturer. Otto Burchart's and his wife Maria. After his basic schooling, he received training in his father's weaving mill and studied at a textile technical school, as well as an art school. He studied advertising and art, and in 1907 started studying at an art academy in Dusseldorf, at that time experimenting with Impressionism, but left the academy to join the First World War. After the war, he withdrew to Blankenhain and resumed meeting with the modern trend. From 3 to 5 August 1922, Burchartz attended a still-life course taught by Theo van Dosberg at the Bauhaus in Weimar, a break from his past work, and turned him toward the modern trend. Ascent into the Ruhr district. In 1924, Burchartz moved to the Ruhr district, where he set up the first modern advertising agency in Germany with Johannes Canis on 1 November 1924. He dedicated himself to the new typography and color design of the building. Artistic and economic success soon followed. The first customer of the agency was the Bachumer Association. Burchartz developed a new layout style that blended typography, photography, and photo collages. In 1926, Burchartz began expanding his artistic career. His subject matter grew and he began to sketch furniture along with his previous subjects. He also began working for the German Work Federation and became an active journalist. Burchartz began working for a company called Wehack that made door handles and fittings. He created many drafts for the company and shaped the development of the enterprise. In April 1927, Burchartz finally received a degree in typography at the Folkwang Schule. Later that year, he joined the architect Alfred Fischer, who built churches, and the Hans Sachs House. Burchartz developed a color control system for the corridors of the house and thereby created the presumed first example of applied signaletic in a public building, the Third Reich. After Hitler seized power, Burchartz joined the Nazi party, hoping to regain his position at the Folkwang Hochschule. During this time, he made many trips for his photography and made prints of industrial subject matter, e.g. 1933 Sailors, Soldiers, Comrades. Between 1933 and 1939, Burchartz worked for the Fourcart Company, for whom he sketched the book of stretching in 1939. The book was an opinion book about Hans Van Futter. Between 1935, a new start. In 1949, Burchartz began working at the Folkwang Academy as a professor for the first-year students. He taught the students universal art ideas and the ideas of holistic designs. In 1953, he wrote his first work of art theory, Allegory of the Harmony, and also an extension of the piece, Design Theory. Influence on Art Today Although Burchartz can be considered the pioneer of modern design and can be compared to older artists such as Peter Behrens and Anton Stankowski, he never received the same fame. Many of today's communication designs, such as the color control system, are based on the work of Max Burchartz.